the Southside Chronicles 2300 block, get that bad production, facts of life moment, you heard me. And a lot of people just think my mind be all over the place, but I got this poetry coming for you, live and uncut, you understand me, you heard me. But it ain't coming from me, you know what I'm saying? It coming from my little people, my my family, my little Paula, you heard me, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see our Instagram page across the screen or whatnot or whatnot. Man, introduce yourself, Pete. It's your girl, Paula. You know, I go by Lala sometimes. But I do poetry, spoken word, and I just got a word for y'all today. It's called The Real World. Run that shit, run that shit. Let me run away from the real world. It seems as though I do something more and more wrong every day. I hold in the pain I experience. Lots of screams and shouts that never got out. Lots of things I never talked about. But no one cares in the real world. At the end of the day, it's my fault. Hmm. There are no sad songs in the real world. I promise you're all alone in the real world. It's back to back in the real world, and sometimes not even that. No one catches you when you fall in the real world. People need you, so they stand on your back, then stab you in it when you can stand on your when they can stand on their own. And nobody catches you when you fall. In the real world. The real world. That's the real world for your ass, man. Yeah, man. Live poetry, man, from Pete, man. You understand me? And a lot of people don't get that and that's real facts, you know what I'm saying? And I had to get that on wax because at the end of the day, man, she was talking some straight facts and that was a factual life moment. But we ain't done with your ass, you know what I'm saying? You gotta spit you gotta spit that life one. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Give them another one. Bless their ass with another one. Okay. So this one is called Trigger to Breathe. How many times will I try to slow myself down thinking that my problems are a factor of what the world revolves around? Why is it that I get triggered by certain sounds? Wait, it's just the volume. I need to tone that shit down. Mm. But some things trigger me well, as in they instantly flip my frown. If I don't stop running soon, then most likely I'm going to drown. Because all this sweat that's being produced is filling up and not draining out. Why do you have to be triggered to really breathe when it should be done automatic or done even subconsciously? Running from your problems can be just as bad as overthinking. And that's what makes you so consciously think that your metaphorical ship is sinking. So just breathe. So just breathe, man. Man, I know y'all hear that, man, and I swear to God, man, I need some deep messages and some deep thinking, man. And this would be on Pete Mind, but she's not the only one that sit up there and think like this, man. One more time before we get about this bitch, man. You gotta do that railroad tracks, man. Yeah, man, no lying, bitch. Yeah, I do that railroad track for me, man. All right, I got a special one for y'all. Y'all are the first ones to hear this as a crowd, as a group of people. He himself was the first one right. to hear it. So With the South Side Chronicles, you know, that's my game. Okay, at the I was the first one. All right. All right, the railroad track. Down the railroad tracks. You know why? When you're crossing, you don't look back. Because mm. in the blink of an eye, the train can come racing down the track before you can even notice and smack. Kill me, no, knock you right off the track, right off the board. Mm. You know, take you out the game. You see, the railroad track is an advantage, which birthed this advantage for all of American citizens. The railroad track don't only separate rich and poor, they separate united and not united. They separate war and peace. They separate life and death. In the cartoons, they always show someone innocent tied up on the tracks. Because most times you don't pick a side. You dropped on the tracks, stuck between broke and poor stuck between sinful ways and absolute peace. You know what a chain reaction is? Hmm. A chain reaction is a train reaction. 
How you gonna move if you know the train is coming real fast, but you don't know what side you belong on? Right. I swear to God, how you gonna know how fast the train going if you don't know what side you belong on, man? And that's some real shit, man. Coming from my family, man, my people, man, Paula, man, in that bitch, man. I hope you all like it, man, and that's real deep conversation, but, um... I'ma just give y'all a little info, but I'ma let Pete talk, man. How long you been like writing your little deep thoughts in in the poetry? Like, how long you been fucking with poetry? So I started poetry probably in like tenth grade. When at my school, well, ninth grade. I'ma say ninth grade in college. I mean, uh, high school. They started teaching us poetry, and you know, I worked on a little project in ninth grade, and I did. I, I knew that I had a you know thing with words. Yeah. And so, when I was in high school and I was given the opportunity to join the poetry club, yeah, I went and performed, you know, for the first few times and just carried it out into college because it was a good outlet. Right. Poetry is one of the best outlets that I can think of right now, you know. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I had to get you on wax and to do this for me, and I appreciate you coming blessing my game with a facts of life moment. On poetry because I be posting so much shit, you feel me? Yeah. And people just think don't know where your mind. My mind being deep thoughts, you heard me. Mm-hmm. And some of your poetry, like life lessons, railroad tracks, what you just spit. I, you know, people mind go through that. They might not say it, they might not act on it. You heard me? Well, they gonna act on it, but they act on it in different ways, and they might not feel as though it's concerning them at that point in time. But it's you reaching someone, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's all that matters, because I know somebody can relate. Somebody? Some fucking body? She. You got a life story, huh? Most definitely. Y'all can look for me for more of my content on Instagram at Afro Vibes. That's A-F-R-O underscore V-Y as in yo-yo. All right, V-Z-E. all right, all right. You can catch me at Afro Vibes on Instagram. And many other platforms, as well as I will be posted on YouTube pretty soon somewhere. I'll come and come see. It was nice to meet you guys. Ah, uh, thank you, baby girl. Give me up a run, bitch. It's Mr. Southside Chronicle. Come to the block with that bad production. Facts of like moment. Poetry with my girl, P. She gave you the Instagram. You know what it do. Man, we out this bitch, man. One love.